Both the F-35 and F-22 have higher levels of technology than USAF requires for the vast majority of its everyday tasks. What is needed according to the USAF's Chief of Staff Gen. Charles Brown Jr. is an affordable, lightweight fighter to replace the F-16. It must be faster to develop and upgrade than the F-35 and need not feature such exquisite technologies. Now, the alternative aviation magazine Hush Kit has brought experts together to design that potential F-16 replacement. The result, the F-36 Kingsnake Lightweight Fighter. Hush Kit huddled with aviation authorities Stephen McFarlane and James Smith, who helped bring aircraft like the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter and Eurofighter Typhoon to life. Then, illustrator Andy Godfrey from the TESOL studio took their ideas and created this concept art for the F-36. The wing is based on that of the F-16XL. The cranked arrow has an inboard section of increased sweep back, creating a controlled high-lift vortex without the need for a foreplane. The wing is efficient at high speeds aiding in creating a faster fighter than the F-35. Rather than emphasizing an extremely high speed that is rarely met, as the case with F-14 and F-15 etc., the F-36 is very comfortable achieving speeds in the Mach 2 range, rather like the European Typhoon. The F-36 is designed for unreheated supersonic performance at M1.4 using reheat for acceleration up to M2.0. The chosen power plant is a simplified version of F-119 of the F-22. Returning the engine to production would also benefit the F-22 Raptor force. The primary sensor is the ANAPG-83 ESA and an ERST based on the Legion pod. With modern infrared missiles almost guaranteeing a kill before fighters reach the merge. The weapon is the M61 Vulcan mounted in the starboard wingroot. It is not ideal to use supersonic optimized fighters for cause, and ideally the F-36 would be complemented by new or existing subsonic aircraft better suited to the mission. Meanwhile, orders for more than 90 F-35 Lightning fighters were cancelled in favor of the Tempest fighters. The UK is likely only to purchase 48 F-35B jets, down from 138, the Sunday Times says. An order for 90 more F-35 Lightning combat jets is to be cancelled in favor of the Tempest fighter, built in Lancashire, while 24 older Typhoon fighters will be retired early. Whole fleets of aircraft will be taken out of service as drones become ever more common, the article appeared on the British newspaper states. The possible cut of the F-35B order isn't entirely unexpected, as the MOD's permanent secretary Sir Stephen Lovegrove said, whilst speaking to the Public Accounts Committee, things change in the course of these very long-term programs. Different capabilities come along that render things that you have yet to buy possibly obsolete, or perhaps you need fewer of them, or the threats change. According to the UK Defence Journal, the final details of this will be revealed on March 16, 2021 in the Integrated Review of Security, Defence, Development, and Foreign Policy, shortened an Integrated Review, which is effectively a defence review. General Sir Nick Carter has been central to setting the vision for our future armed forces. The Prime Minister has asked General Carter to remain in post to ensure continuity and stability, while the conclusions of the integrated review are implemented following the £24.1 billion settlement for defence announced last year. The Royal Air Force and Royal Navy plan to operate 138 F-35B short takeoff vertical landing aircraft. Their training took place at MCAS Beaufort, South Carolina, where British pilots and maintainers were embedded with the US Marine Corps and their fleet of F-35BS. The first F-35 Squadron, 617 SQN Dambusters, arrived at RAF Marham with first four aircraft in June 2018. 
According to Lockheed Martin, as the program's only level one partner, the United Kingdom has garnered tremendous economic benefits from the F-35. British industry will build 15% of each of the more than 3,000 planned F-35s, generating significant export revenue and GDP growth. The program is projected to create and support more than 21,000 jobs across every region of the United Kingdom. BAE Systems, GE Aviation, Martin Baker, Leonardo Cobham, Ultra Electronics, UTC Actuation Collins Aerospace and Rolls-Royce are just a few of the more than 100 UK-based suppliers for the program. On March 16, the British government released the Integrated Review of Security, Defense, Development, and Foreign Policy, its all-encompassing roadmap for the future of its defense and foreign policy. It proposed transformative changes to the structure of the UK's armed forces and officially launched Brexit Britain's strategic tilt to the Indo-Pacific. But transformation is a tricky thing. Given the long timelines for military procurement, the complexity of maintaining a defense industrial base, and the inertia produced by the interplay between those two factors, matching hard capabilities to lofty strategic language is difficult. Take as an example two of the highest profile pieces of military hardware in Britain's arsenal, the carrier HMS Queen Elizabeth, and the F-35B Lightning II. The new carrier is the largest ship ever built for the Royal Navy, and has been designated the flagship for the entire fleet. To underscore the seriousness of the government's Indo-Pacific aspirations, its inaugural operational cruise will be to the Pacific, where it may traverse the South China Sea over Beijing's objections. Sending a carrier battle group, a significant portion of the Royal Navy's entire deployable combat strength, to the far side of the world certainly sends a message. But that message may well be diluted by operational factors. A carrier is nothing, if not a platform, the ship's own weapons are solely designed for self-defense, and in the case of the British ships, extremely limited even for that task. And the capabilities of the Queen Elizabeth class are unusually strongly linked to a single aircraft. Aside from helicopters to provide search and rescue, light resupply, and airborne radar coverage, the ship's entire air wing will be composed of F-35s. The UK was a core partner in the development of the F-35, particularly the vertical short takeoff and landing, V-Stole, V-Variant, which composes the entirety of the UK's order of the type. In fact, the design of Britain's multi-billion pound carriers was dependent upon the success of the program. Unlike the carriers of the French and US navies, Britons are equipped with ski jumps, an inclined section of the boat, which gives an aircraft additional lift, to compensate for the shortened length of its takeoff roll.